then we can create our enemies in here so enemies dot pushback enemy enemy text and uh, address to that and uh, position so we're gonna put them at 500 vector 2f 500 uh, rand no wait the x position is gonna be at let's see window dot get size dot x minus uh, are we gonna do this this no wait shape nope it's not gonna work uh, because we can't get its own kind of what if we send in the window parameters uh, random because we can't get its size right here. Um, let's do this. Let's send in the window parameters and let the constructor handle all that stuff. So, vector 2i window size. Uh, Alright, so let me do this. Window dot get size vector to you actually vector to you that's an unsigned int that's good so this is gonna set the position from so win window size dot x minus this shape dot get global bounds dot width and then the y position is going to be a random between 0 to window dot get size no wait Win window size dot y minus this shape dot get size wait get global bounds dot height so that should be good and from 0 to that width okay so then we can create an enemy we'll push back the enemy here and we're gonna update enemies we're gonna draw player player bullets and then enemy finally we're gonna go through all of the enemies dot size and we're gonna do window dot draw enemies at position i size no it's shape so there we go now we made a an enemy class which can create itself anywhere on the screen and every time i run this there's gonna be an enemy at another position yep now it's a little big so we're gonna shorten that up a little bit we're gonna do 0 0.1 0 0.1 it's about the same size as the player um, and we should be fine now we're gonna update the enemy as well so the enemy is gonna be moving to enemies dot size so it's gonna be moving to the left let's see uh, enemies at position i dot shape dot move minus 5f or like 10f 0 and now they should be moving to the right oh that's kind of fast though 6 just get speed right 
All right, so that's good. Now, if enemies at position i dot shape dot get position dot x is less or equal to zero, less oh wait less than or equal to zero minus enemies position i dot shape. This is tedious. Get global bounds dot width. So it's going to check that enemy. The position is outside, so even the butt is outside of the window. Enemies at position I. Enemies, no way. Erase. Uh, insert. Erase enemies. Dot. Begin. Plus I. So it's going to remove every enemy. And if enemies at position I dot shape dot get global bounds dot intersects, good God, intersects player dot get player dot shape get global bounds. If they intersect, the same thing is going to happen. We're going to remove that enemy. Okay. That's good. That's good. Now, when we update, we're going to have an enemy spawn timer. Enemy spawn timer. Zero. Int. So we're going to update that all the time. Enemy spawn timer. If enemy spawn timer is less than 20, yeah. If enemy spawn timer is greater or equal than 20, then we're going to spawn an enemy. Enemies dot push back. And we're going to use this right here. Gonna use that right here. Bam. Equals zero. So we're gonna reset that. Time spawn. So now we're gonna be able to spawn a bunch of enemies and they're gonna be moving to the right. So I wanna see what happens. That's a bunch of enemies. We're going to be able to shoot them. Wait, that doesn't look right. That doesn't look right. Uh, enemies, windows, dot, window dot size. Let me just check that out. Window dot x minus width. That's good. Random. From zero. Yeah, so from zero. Okay, so from zero to from zero to I think we need to do this and int and window size. Okay, now this should be okay, I think. Yeah, that's that's fine. So it's not actually creating anything over there. So I can dodge all of these. That's kind of fast. 20. Let's start at 30. Or 25. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh. Oh, wait. That's shoot timer. There we go. 25. 25. <laughs> Oh, I had to sneeze so bad. Oh, thanks for waiting for me, guys and girls. So we can spawn enemies, and we're good. We're moving the enemies. They're being removed. Now, every time this happens, we're going to erase the enemy. But what we're going to do is we're going to actually decrease player HP. So 
player dot hp minus minus player take damage <clears throat> okay and that should be good all right and when they intersect with enemy uh, boom if player the shape get global bounds dot intersects enemies at position K K dot shape uh, shape dot get global bounds like that uh, let me see so if they intersect we're going to erase the enemy and the player uh, if player I think that was okay uh, what what really why it's kind of weird player bullet shape get global bounds intersects you have this okay and this is for the if statement I think yep so we're gonna enemies at position I no enemies dot erase means dot begin plus uh, K and then we're gonna erase the bullet Let's erase okay and then we're gonna break in here because this could be a problem we're gonna break this for loop and not all the, the whole for loop so this is good and uh, yeah let's see if this works without crashing hopefully yeah it seems to be working so we're shooting all these enemies up all right what oh it's still running okay uh, without a problem I think or do we have a problem I don't think we have a problem um, I don't think we have a problem. I don't think it crashed. I just think I went out of the screen. Let me try again. Okay, we did crash. Uh, okay. So th I think that's because we are doing a bunch of stuff here. We're breaking out. We need. If we remove this, we need to. We need to make an else if. <laughs> okay we just need to break out every time we remove the bullet we need to break out of the for loop or it's gonna go checking enemies for that bullet I think that is the problem yeah so now it's not gonna crash I think I think we're good let me just try while it's removing off, just spamming bullets okay so we're good that's fine and uh, where is this I think we need to break out every time we do this as well break just to be safe break we're gonna break out all of these and uh, boom okay okay what else do we need to do we need to make the UI now like I said uh, how long is this video is pretty damn long um, 